dreams really do come true. It's been a mere four months since SpaceX silenced its doubters by igniting the engines of the first starship and witnessing it take to the skies. Although that initial ascent didn't go off without a hitch, it was far from a failure. The data collected from that daring test flight provided SpaceX with critical insights, facilitating refinements and setting the stage for subsequent missions. Since the initial flight, the SpaceX team has diligently executed over 1,000 adjustments to Starship, ushering in substantial changes to the thrust vector controls, staging protocols, liftoff procedures, and the flight termination system. And recently, in the expansive grounds of SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas, a significant milestone was achieved. The team executed a stacking procedure, placing Ship 25 atop Booster 9 in the formation of the tallest full stack ever seen. Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, couldn't contain his enthusiasm and shared glimpses of this remarkable achievement with the world through social media channels. What was fascinating to witness was that the actual stacking process, beginning at 12.30 p.m. and wrapping up at 2.30 p.m., was swift. But it was the intricate settling and coupling procedure that truly showcased the intricacies of this engineering marvel. The gigantic chopsticks, those massive tower arms at the launch tower, demonstrated their invaluable role, ensuring the perfect alignment of Ship 25 with Booster 9. Starship diverges significantly from its predecessors, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. While the latter were assembled horizontally, Starship takes a vertical approach, leveraging the set of mechanical arms. These aren't just for assembly, they're central to SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability. Traditional rockets discard their first stage boosters, but Starship, aided by the chopsticks, is designed to catch the returning booster, revolutionizing space missions economics. This recent integration of Ship 25 with Booster 9 wasn't merely procedural. It marked a key preparatory stage for their impending launch. The full stack stands at an impressive 400 feet. When set on its orbital launch stand, it reaches 480 feet. For perspective, the famed Saturn V, NASA's moon rocket, stood at 363 feet with Starship outstripping this record. Similarly, the Russian N-1, the Soviet Union's answer to the Saturn V, stood around 344 feet. Starship's monumental stature not only showcases its bold objectives, but also the advancements SpaceX brings to aerospace engineering. As the world watches, Starship hints at a promising future for space exploration. SpaceX has included a new, hot stage in this version of the rocket, and this is part of their ongoing testing to perfect the Starship system. Hot staging is like a relay race where one runner starts running before the other has stopped. In rocket terms, it's when the engines of the second stage start firing while the engines of the first stage are still on. This keeps the rocket moving upwards without any pause. Imagine a car on a hill. If it stops, it might roll backward, but if it keeps the momentum going, it easily climbs the hill. Similarly, by using hot staging, Starship ensures it doesn't lose any momentum as it climbs skyward. With traditional rockets, there might be a noticeable gap between one stage's engines shutting down and the next one igniting. The Saturn V, for example, had a pause between its stages. When its first stage finished and was jettisoned, there was a brief interval before the second stage engines fired up. During Starship's initial test flight, they slowly ramped up the engines, which took a long 10 seconds before it left the ground. In comparison, the Saturn V's liftoff was quicker. Once its engines ignited, it would begin its ascent in about 7 to 8 seconds. This difference might not sound huge, but in rocketry, every second counts, especially when considering the forces and stresses on the vehicle. For the next Starship test, SpaceX aims to get off the ground faster, more in line with how the Saturn V and other famous rockets have historically done. They hope to reduce potential wear and tear on the launch pad by speeding up this process. The hot stage will also be subjected to a series of tests that will scrutinize its ability to withstand the stresses of actual space travel. A venting ring has been added for this phase, making it a key point of focus for SpaceX's engineering team. The launch window for this particular Starship, set between September 8th and September 13th, is building up excitement among space enthusiasts and industry watchers. However, those who have followed SpaceX's journey know to take these timelines with a pinch of caution. Musk is known for setting ambitious dates, 
His optimism motivates many, and while it has pushed the company to achieve remarkable feats, it has also led to a series of changed launch dates. A notable example, in the run-up to the first Starship launch, Musk often talked about different launch dates. The constant changes left some people skeptical, especially when Musk mentioned a launch on April 20th. But surprisingly to some, SpaceX pulled it off, proving that they can often match Musk's ambitious goals. But it's important to recognize that these delays aren't usually due to overpromising. They highlight the difficult and unpredictable nature of space travel. It's not easy launching a massive rocket into space, and each change in schedule shows just how tricky it can be. On top of the technical challenges, there's the oversight from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA hasn't always been smooth. SpaceX's quick-paced development style doesn't always match up with the FAA's careful and thorough regulations. This mismatch has resulted in SpaceX receiving fines a few times. Considering SpaceX's past mistakes and the FAA's focus on safety, the agency might take extra time before giving the upcoming Starship launch a go-ahead. Flight restrictions and notifications for residents in the Boca Chica area are still awaiting confirmation. SpaceX will keep the community in the loop, and an evacuation before the flight will be part of the plan. If all goes well and the launch site doesn't suffer too much damage after the second flight, we could see Ship 28 and Booster 10 making their moves quickly. These vehicles are already well into their build and testing campaigns. So if the stars align, we might witness another Starship flight this year. The space industry has changed. It's not just nations exploring the cosmos anymore. Private companies are also joining the race. SpaceX is one of the big players, but Rocket Lab is also making significant moves. Recently, on August 24th, Rocket Lab launched a satellite for Capella Space using their Electron rocket. With this kind of competition and progress, returning to the moon seems more and more likely. So how far away do you think we are from returning to the moon? Let me know in the comments. If enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.